Good morning, Alpha. Good morning. Good morning.
Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthy shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's life. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For we should judge ourselves. We should we should not be judged, but when we are judged, we are chastised of the law, that we should not be condemned unto with the world. Wherefore, my brother, when ye come together to eat, turn to one for, to, for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together until condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. I have read the readings of 1 Corinthians 11, chapter 20, from the 24th down to the 34th. May the Lord have a blessing to the reader. This time we have prayer by the deacon county. Let us pray. Every head bow. Our Father, our Father. God, we thank you for a day we've never seen you before. God, thank you for what you have this morning. Thank you for starting us on our way. By the way, thank you bless our bishop, Father. Bless our family, Father. Bless the Alabama, the Baptist Church, man, Father. Bless the mother, Father, who goes to that forgiveness, Father. Father, we thank you for protecting us, Father. Father, we know no one but you can cure us to that Father, we know we need to keep your hand, our hands in your hands. Father, Lord, we depend on you. And God, we know that you know what to do. Father, let you bless the sick. Bless the sweet God, bless the blood of God that you have lost loved ones, Father. We ask you about every family, Father. Father, we're losing so many people in this world. So many numbers, Father. But God, we know you. You know what to do. Father, we ask you to go to the jail, Father. God, let you check out children, Father. Father, they don't have to go to a new crime. Father's learning at home. They miss their friends. But God, you can let you go for it because you are their friend. Yeah. Father, we ask you to bless this church, Father. We ask you to bless the ones that have and what to have not. Father, someone need to find that to bless right now, Father. Bless it. Father, someone have diabetes right now. We do. Somebody have cancer, Father. We do. Father, someone bones are hurting right now. They get their arms so we feel it, Father. And Father, as you come out here this Sunday in this house, that someone will be sad and we help someone today in their life. God, we thank you, we love you. We love you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
This is where we as Christians, baptized believers, we remember Jesus. A little bit more today. We think about the body. The fact that he was beaten, bruised, battered. We think about his blood that was shed on Calvary's cross for each and every one of us. And even more so than his beaten body. On today, we think about the love that Jesus had for us. Yes. Truth be told, not one of us could have endured what he did. Amen. But he did that for us. Yes. And so whatever issues, all problems, concerns you might have with somebody else, loose it and let it go. Amen. Don't take, partake of the elements with anger in your heart, strife in your heart, issues with somebody else. Bible tells us if you do that, you bring a damnation upon yourself. Love. Exhibit love. Yeah. And show love. Yeah. You should have your communions in your pews already. Is there anyone that does not have bread and wine at this time? Anyone else? Let us drink together. 